Bears taking on the Cleveland Browns. Now the kicker, Brandon McManus, about ready to get us started. And off we go from Cleveland. From his end zone, here comes Jerome Ford. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. They will start this drive with Ford. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four. Second down. Now a second and six. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Watson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. It certainly looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time ends up leading him just a bit too much. Throwing on third down, Watson. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. As to the sideline and pulled in. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. On first down, it's Watson. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Again, it's Watson. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. It's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come back quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And it's knocked away and incomplete. You get a sense of what this game plan might be. They think they can take a few home run shots against this defense. They tried it there on the opening drive, but that ball's incomplete. Now yet another completion here as they fail to connect on third. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Here we go on fourth. Watson. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Browns unable to move the chains on fourth down. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. On the ground with Bigsby to start the drive. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. On second down, a run with ETN. And he'll get about two there to the 36. tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. Oh, his first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Walker. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. Boy, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man, sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes, those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. Watson's throw into the hands of Peoples-Jones. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. 
just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. A starting drive number two off on the right foot. Completion for the first down. Drive one is the they had to be pretty frustrating because they moved the football. They just didn't get any points out of it. But warm-up QB two is bringing the back up. <laughs> I mean, my goodness, you take them down. Good. And it's gonna be caught from the Browns touchdown. Deshaun Watson finding Amari Cooper. And the Browns use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, you use him because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. Extra point good by Hopkins. And it's now a 7 nothing game. the touchdown Dustin Hopkins will kick it away from his end zone here comes Agnew and a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30 yard line Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive they threw an interception the first time they had the football wound up leading to a touchdown the other way how do you approach drive number two going back to your game plan coming in everyone has matchups that they like better than others where they think they have an advantage dial up some of those plays try and go to those spots and get your offense moving trying again on second down but this time it's incomplete no coverage bust by the defense here they did a nice job accounting for everybody and that led to an incompletion looking to throw lawrence Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Touchdown, Jaguars! Evan Ingram, 65 yards. And the Jaguars are an extra point away from evening this one up. So on third and medium, they dial up the pass, and it works to hit the end zone. And it's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the football. But what offenses like to do is still show run formations to make them respect it and throw out of those. In this case, they took a nice shot at the end zone and made it pay off. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Cleveland offense ready to go. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. These two teams all tied after one. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. The handoff to Ford up the middle. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Here's Watson now on second down. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. On the ground, it's four. And maybe a little over-pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. It's a gain of 10, and the Browns are going to get a first down. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because 
They handed it to him. That was way too easy. It just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. On first and ten, Watson. Looking for Cooper. That's complete. And they've got it inside the ten at the eight. Another nice gain, 16 yards there on a first down again. Out of the gun, Watson. That's to the right side and complete to Najoku. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Brings up second and goal at the Jaguars' seven-yard line. They run with four. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. Now third and goal. He'll try again. And he's in. Touchdown. Browns. Jerome Ford taking it in from four yards out. And the Browns have taken the lead. He had the option to hand that football off. I think it's safe to say that he made the right decision. That was a heck of a run. It certainly was. And when you mentioned the option, most people think the quarterback's not going to keep the ball. You know, in the NFL, that's usually not the recipe for being around too long. So when you do keep it, it often surprises the heck out of a defense. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Lawrence will throw. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Walker. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Browns defense has a touchdown. Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21 to 7. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And he's going to wind up bringing this one inside the 45-yard line. In just about every special teams meeting, there's a discussion with the punter about his importance. Why? He can flip the field for your team defensively, move it deep into their own territory, or if you're backed up on offense, and he can hit a big punt and change field position and help his defense. In this case, though, Field position got flipped by the return team. You can do it so many different ways on special teams. Now Lawrence is going to get his guys to go quickly. On second down, here's Lawrence. Man open, here is Jones. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. This is caught, and he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. I got him, I got him. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Now Lawrence. And it's caught on the deflection, and this is going to be a touchdown. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, yeah, I give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free. And his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. 
From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Browns drive about to get started. And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. They'll start out here with the option left. And he'll work this back to right around the line of scrimmage and surrender there. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Second and 10. Now a play fake, and it's Watson. They'll roll him out right. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. That was an interesting look there, because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. He finds his man complete. That's four. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. They will indeed snap it to Watson. And he is caught. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. Final shot before the break. Watson. He's going to take a shot at the end zone. Why not? Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. The Jaguars with work to do. They trail here as we are back underway on EA Sports. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here, trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Great vision there by Lawrence as he scrambles for a first down. A shotgun snap and a give the ETA. And the defense closes quickly there, and he'll get maybe a yard to the 33. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Now Lawrence to throw on second down. They'll get this out to the flat for ETN. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it makes it third down and two yards to go. Here's Lawrence. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 39. Throwing quickly, this is caught by Kirk. Able to slither by. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. And now they're in the hurry up. 
Again, it's Lawrence. And that's complete ETA out of the backfield. Touchdown, Jaguars! Travis Etienne, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Jaguars are an extra point away from drawing level. Well, CD, you know he's got great options at wide receiver tight end, but there he looks to the backfield, and it results in a touchdown. I love how you laid that out. So many options. You maybe forget about some of the ones that you should be covering. And they made them pay with that one, didn't they? Forget about the guys in the backfield. They're eligible, too. McManus's point after is good. And we are tied at 21. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. The Cleveland offense ready to go. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Moore, the man in motion. Watson, a little touch pass on the jet sweep. There he goes, left side. Elijah Moore. And he is finally first out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. A big play that time for Cleveland. So that about the shortest pass a quarterback can make, but it winds up going for a bundle. Yeah, let's face it, in the stats, it sure looks like a heck of a throw, doesn't it? <laughs> it's almost like in baseball, when you get that little Texas leaguer that turns into a double, you would think that you hit it off the wall. Big time play for him on a short little pass. Third quarter action. Appreciate you joining us from Cleveland, Ohio. Second and 10. To the air yet again, Watson. Flushed out right. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They haven't been able to stop them so far in this series, but getting a nice little stand from their defense now. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Watson. This is Ford, and he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Again, they turn to Ford, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Back to throw, Watson. Quick slant, caught by Moore. A terrific job there to keep him out of the end zone. And now it'll be fourth and goal. They'll try to run for it with four. And he'll wind up being knocked back to the three-yard line. They stop him up short on fourth and goal from the one. And the Jaguars are able to come up with a goal line stand. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. They'll start on the ground, ETN. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Take right over. 
Lawrence from his end zone. He completes it to Ridley. Across midfield, Calvin Ridley. Touchdown, Jaguars. Calvin Ridley, 98 yards. And the Jags strike quickly to take the lead here in the fourth. Extra point from McManus is good. And they will take a seven-point lead. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Browns drive about to get started. And the pressure is on now. They're being shut out here in the second half after a decent first half offensively. And they need their best drive of the game right here. He finds his man complete. It's four. And he is going to lose yardage here. A loss of two brings up To throw on second is Watson. And that is taken in by Njoku. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and 10 here. Now a throw here going to be taken in by the tight end Njoku. And quickly they get to the line. On second down now. It's Ford, and he'll be tackled at the 45, following a gain of just two. And this offense on third down today, three for seven so far in this game. This is third and seven. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. 56 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. He definitely sees some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. 12 more yards there and another first down. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and 10. On first down, they go right back to Hunt. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll try the air now with Watson. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Here now, third down. Watson to throw. And incomplete on the deep ball. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going, and I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now, has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. Desperation time. Watson on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. 